Eczema is a condition that makes your skin turn red, scaly, and itchy. Your doctor might call it dermatitis. It can show up in several places on your body, and different types can cause different symptoms. Eczema often affects the face, and facial eczema can be particularly distressing because it is so visible. In addition, facial skin is very sensitive, and even the mildest degree of inflammation can feel sore, itchy, and uncomfortable. In children, the face is often one of the first places eczema develops. It usually starts between the ages of 6 months and 5 years. In this video, we want to introduce you some useful information about eczema on Face Classic and newest medical treatments therapy. By the way, welcome to Anatomy Note YouTube channel again. Treatment options of eczema on the face. Unfortunately, there is no 100% cure for eczema in modern medicine, but many treatments are available for relieving symptoms, prevent a flare-up. These treatments include corticosteroid creams and ointments. Over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream can help with red, itchy skin. Put it on once or twice a day for several weeks. If that doesn't work well enough, you may need a stronger prescription steroid. Use it only for a short time, though, because it can thin your skin. Antihistamine cream or tablets. Healthcare professionals may recommend taking a non-sedating antihistamine one hour before a sports event, workout, or other activity since sweat can worsen eczema. But some antihistamine tablet has a sedative side effect, it's dangerous to take it before swimming or driving. Antibiotics cream or antifungal cream like ketoconazole. Your doctor may prescribe anti-yeast ointments or creams if your eczema is caused by a fungal infection. UV phototherapy. This may help if your eczema is moderate to severe and cream medications haven't worked. Keep in mind that using this type of treatment for a long time can raise your odds for skin cancer. Topical Chrysaberol. Chrysaberol is a non-steroidal topical monotherapy that inhibits the phosphodiesterase 4 enzyme in the skin. Overactive phosphodiesterase 4 has been shown to contribute to the signs and symptoms of atopic dermatitis. Botulinum toxin. Research from Edinburgh University in Scotland has found that Botox may be able to resolve itchy skin and eczema. A female patient who suffered from itchy skin on her arms and torso for over a decade experienced a dramatic reduction in her symptoms following Botox injections administered in the affected areas. The effects lasted for six months. Treatment was also successful for another female patient who suffered from an itchy forehead for six years. Immune modulator treatment. One new option for treating eczema involves drugs that possess anti-inflammatory properties but are not corticosteroids. Some topical immunomodulator medicines, like pyrolimus, recently approved for treating mild to moderate atopic dermatitis in patients. Topical calcineurin inhibitors. Your doctor may prescribe these instead of a steroid cream. These creams and ointments block chemicals that can make your eczema flare. They are used particularly to treat eczema on your face, including your eyelids, neck, and skin folds. As we mentioned before, be sure these treatments ordered and supervised by a legal dermatologist. Because some treatments may thin the skin, and others may affect other organs function in the patient's body. Our last and most important advice is, take proper recommendation from dermatologist specialist face to face if your face eczema flare up frequently. We will upload natural home remedies for eczema on faces in upcoming videos. Thanks for your watching. Our channel focused on facts about the human body in different aspects. If you don't want to miss these, you know what to do. Thanks again.